So today we're going to learn how to create a quick and easy neon type effect just like these ones that you're seeing here. So the first thing you want to do is create a new image and you just want to create it around 500 by 500 uh, or you can make it bigger if you like. And just going to press D to reset the colors and then I'm going to use the paint bucket tool to fill the background with black. Then I'm going to press X to swap the colors around and use our text tool to type in our text. So I'm just going to type in love to help. And then I'm going to use the move tool over here just to reposition that. Now what you want to do next is create a new layer just by clicking this button down here and then holding control click on the text layer and then go to select, modify and expand and I'm going to expand by 5 pixels for this example. Um, then what we want to do is go into filter render clouds then filter clouds filter clouds filter clouds and then what you want to do is holding control click on the text layer again and then press the delete key now we're just gonna hide the text layer for the moment and then we want to go into filter blur and Gaussian blur and then you want to select a radius of about 1 or 1 1.5 depending so we're just going to say 1.5 for the moment and then hit OK and then go select inverse and then filter Gaussian blur again and then deselect so that way it still gives us a bit of sharpness around the letters now what you can do from here, you can just go straight into image adjustments, hue and saturation and then tick colorize and change the color and add some saturation. However, if, um, if you want some more white highlights, what you can do is before adjusting the hue and saturation, you can go into image adjustments and levels and then just drag the white one down here, move the black up a little bit then just a bit more white and then just hit OK and then go into image adjustments hue and saturation, tick colorize pick a color, add some more saturation and then just sort of play with the lightness there a bit and then that will give you just the sort of break up with the color so it looks a bit more natural type thing so that's basically it i uh, hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching